Deep inside enemy territory, near the Hindu Kush mountains of Afghanistan, on May 25, 2011, Technical Sergeant Tavis Delaney and his unit air assaulted into the rocky valley in the village of Doab, never expecting what was to happen next. As soon as the helicopters took off, um, they hit us. The valley erupted with enemy mortar, machine gun, and small arms fire by an estimated 400 Taliban. We need to take that freaking hill. We're going to play this game all day. Insurgents had been waiting for days to lure, trap, and kill the force of American and Afghan troops. Right about the point that the helo sound faded, that's when they opened up on us. And like literally 360 degrees with everything that they have in their inventory. Pinned down and ambushed by the Taliban forces, a 13-hour long firefight broke out. The aftermath was a devastating blow to the enemy. Over 200 Taliban insurgents lay dead. No American or Afghan died that day. The mission was successful because Tech Sergeant Delaney and his team returned home alive, whereas more than 200 Taliban insurgents did not. And it was reported afterwards that the other insurgents that fled the area said, quote, the Americans have made too many of us martyrs for today. Delaney, a Joint Terminal Attack Controller, or JTAC, was responsible for calling in airstrikes from 14 different airframes. As a result of his heroic actions that turned the tide of the battle at Doab, Delaney was awarded the nation's third highest military honor, the Silver Star. To all my friends, my family, and the leaders who taught me everything I know, thank you for your love and your mentorship through it all. I am but the sum of all of your efforts. One of those airframes critical to the fight was the MC-12 Liberty, the Air Force's most relied upon manned aircraft. The MC-12 was used as a tactical ISR platform, so we helped identify enemy insurgent locations with our full motion video, and we served as a radio relay from the Joint Terminal Attack Controller to other CAS assets that were in the stack. The MC-12 was called in to provide a critical link between ground forces and close air support overhead, including AH-64 and AC-130 gunships. Because of the MC-12, we got strike aircraft overhead to make it happen, to save the day. The only thing that saved us that day was, was air power. The MC-12 crews alerted ground forces to impending ground attacks and located enemy positions for targeting by close air support aircraft. The only, what they did that day is the only reason I'm sitting here with you today. And the MC-12 had a very large part in that. And I can tell you that that platform is a game changer, like no question, and I'm living proof of it. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman Andrew Buchanan.